Hebrews 8. What I mean is that we have a high priest who sits at the right side of God's great throne in heaven. He also serves as the priest in the most holy place inside the real tent there in heaven. This tent of worship was set up by the Lord, not by humans. Since all priests must offer gifts and sacrifices, Christ also needed to have something to offer. If he were here on earth, he would not be a priest at all, because here the law appoints other priests to offer sacrifices. But the tent where they serve is just a copy and a shadow of the real one in heaven. Before Moses made the tent, he was told, Be sure to make it exactly like the pattern you were shown on the mountain. Now Christ has been appointed to serve as a priest in a much better way, and he has given us much assurance of a better agreement. If the first agreement with God had been all right, there would not have been any need for another one. But the Lord found fault with it and said, I tell you the time will come when I will make a new agreement with the people of Israel and the people of Judah. It won't be like the agreement that I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand and led them out of Egypt. They broke their agreement with me and I stopped caring about them. But now I tell the people of Israel, this is my new agreement. The time will come when I, the Lord, will write my laws on their minds and hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. Not one of them will have to teach another to know me, their Lord. All of them will know me, no matter who they are. I will treat them with kindness, even though they are wicked. I will surely forget their sins. When the Lord talks about a new agreement, he means that the first one is out of date, and anything that is old and useless will soon disappear.